Princess Diana was first uh, photographed in 1981 wearing the warm and wonderful sheep sweater. Uh, it, as soon as she wore it, it was on the front page of every newspaper. It was really talked about, um, I think really for the theme of it, of a black sheep on a bunch of white sheep on this red sweater. Um, and it really blew up Warm and Wonderful, their brand. They got the ultimate uh, kind of uh, influencer coverage back in 1981 of Princess Diana choosing to wear this specific sweater in a very public arena, which was a polo match of Prince Charles. And she had just recently gotten engaged. Um, and so in um, 1981, soon after she was photographed wearing the sweater, um, Buckingham Palace sent Sally and Joanna, the founders of Warm and Wonderful, a letter saying that the sweater had been damaged on the wrist and if they could repair it and or replacement because she really loved this sweater. And it's so interesting that uh, there's been a speculation of how much she liked the sweater, but the leather, letters actually proved that. Um, what they did is actually sent her a replacement in 1981 because they felt like they couldn't um, repair it properly. Uh, the sweater basically kind of got forgotten for 40 years. Um, but interestingly enough, in 1983, she was photographed wearing the replacement. So in March of this year, uh, Joanna was looking for patterns in her attic and she uh, came across a small white box and in the box was the sweater that they had just, um, back in the 1980s, their brand was blowing up. They just assumed that the sweater maybe got sent to another buyer. They thought it had gotten repaired, but it actually had just been forgotten in this box for 40 years. So this, uh, this item has never come to market before. This is the very first time it will have ever come to market. Our estimate is 40 to 70,000 pounds. Uh, we feel that's very conservative given a recent item that Sotheby sold in Q1 of this year. We sold uh, Victor Edelstein velvet purple gown that she's photographed in Vanity Fair for just over $600,000 US. I think in terms of media coverage, it's certainly the most talked about fashion item she's ever worn, over 40 years of media coverage. And so, and the amount that's been spoken about this item, it really feels like, you know, this is a first to market, really her most iconic fashion piece that she's ever chosen to wear. Um, if you're Princess Diana, certainly you have access to lots of pieces of apparel you could choose to wear. And the fact that she wanted a replacement, and then again, two years later, wore the exact same, the replacement sweater I think speaks you know really volumes from her how much this sweater meant to her. Yes. If we think of you know there are very few I think truly uh, fashion icons and Diana is always at the top of that list and um, we really haven't seen that many items of hers come to market recently um, except for uh, the gown that we had so we uh, that gown I think showed how much valuations have increased since uh, kind of more uh, the last round of at least uh, the gown that was a part of our sale was last um, auctioned in 1999. So it's been a long time since um, a larger grouping of our items have come to market. And certainly we've seen uh, demand is incredibly high.